<laughs> uh, that's such a good noise. Oh yeah. Today I do, I want to draw something um, uh, that uh, you suggest. I don't want to be drawing on the golden ticket today. I feel like it's something I got to do offline and uh, probably most likely maybe on Fridays. Hey, Weeping Jay, how's it going? What's up? Like I said, uh, I'm open for suggestions today. I don't want to draw on a golden ticket. On stream, I think it's too slow paced and not interesting enough. I'd rather, I'd rather have fun drawing for half an hour with you guys than dragging you through the through it just because I need to do it. You know. So today will be that I'm open for suggestions. <clears throat> it's um. I like the idea of, of drawing suggested topics. It's fun. Hey, Aski, how's it going? And is um, I I'll draw. I'll roll the dice. It's a dice kind of day today. So whatever your uh, suggestions will be, I will roll the dice and draw the topic. I think yesterday's yesterday's uh, study was quite fun, quite interesting, quite different. Um, hey, Wanamir, how's it going? Good morning. Today, as per usual, I was out running. And um, I I run I try to run four kilometers three times a week, and um, I also got a package with a nice little uh, like subwoofer speaker pack that I installed. It's quite nice, quite nice uh, sound quality for the price. Actually, surprised. It's the like Logitech Z333. It's not like the most highest rated, but the price was really low. Hey ho, let's go. Kirill, how's it going? Good morning. I'm open for suggestions this morning. So uh, whatever you, you, let's, let's go with fantasy. Let's go in that direction. Fantasy direction, right? I want to do some uh, dark fantasy. Hey, Kyle Bear. I feel like I should say something smart. Thank you for the raid. At the beginning of the raid. At the beginning of the stream, I mean. Amazing. Hey, Miss Graphics, how's it going? Kyle Bear. Kyle Bear was in Unreal Bournemouth 1. I think, Kyle Bear, you got to semi-finals. Was that, was that what? How how far you got? No, you joined in. Uh, what was it? You joined in. I don't remember something. You joined as a surprise addition or something. Can't remember. HL Strand. So, we got one more slot for a topic. You join in the middle of it, right? So what happens in this room is I ask for a, a topic. This today is in fantasy genre, and then I will draw it for half an hour. Um, I'll roll the dice so the topic is different. I don't know which what I'm gonna draw. Uh, so we got Phoenix. Uh, we got Undead Elemental. We got Blood Angel. Phoenix, Undead, Elemental, uh, Blood Angel, Necrotic Defender, whatever that is. 
Magma Man, sir. Magma Man, sir. <laughs> so, okay, Invis want to change the Soul Collector. And then Banished Fairy. That's, that's pretty interesting. There's some, some, some uh, quite epic topics right there. So let's roll the dice. Come on, Google. No. Why? Okay, here we go. So as per usual, it is the next one. Number four. Pff, clearly rigged. Okay, so number four being... Huh? The, the Magma Mancer. <laughs> Magma Mancer by uh, um, Zealin. What is a Magma Mancer? What on earth is a Magma Mancer? Magma Mancer. Oh, really, Kyle Bear? That's really cool. Congratulations that you got hired. Where did you get hired? All right, let's start. A magma Mancer. I'm thinking a uh, elemental wizard that is funneling magma. I missed one topic, but uh, Phoenix was changed... Um, Invis Graphics changed Phoenix to Soul Collector, right? So Soul Collector became number five. So Undead Elemental, Blood Angel, Necrotic Defender, Magma Mancer, four, Soul Collector, and Banished Fairy. That's how I read it. So Invis forfeited number one to be number five because he changed, you know, because he wrote O and then he changed the topic. So uh, hopefully Invis graphics won't be extremely offended. <laughs> he wouldn't have won anyways. Okay, so Magma Mancer, how about like... Okay, so I'm seeing a corrupted wizard. Right? The, the wizard, let's say, has been banished. And he, or her, let's make it a her, have grown like a um, lava rock um, armor, coat of armor type deal, right? And... and um, became have become like a half demon demon right because it's banished banished into the underworld <laughs> and and the, they have gained control because the magma mancer what the name have um you know became half demon or, or corrupted or lost or however you want to play with the words is now in control of magma and timer is on timer is on and they constructed uh, like a protective armor of what's called magma rock is that called something spe specific? Oh, Calber, good night. Thank you for the raid. It was it's very much appreciated. And hello, everyone else. I hope um, I can I can give you the the rundown of the idea of the stream for you, all of you who stay. The idea of the stream is, uh, generally speaking, it's a warm up stream which means I stream for half an hour every day at the exact same time because I have incorporated a warm-up session at the studio. I, I am a um, lead artist uh, slash art director at. 
So all artists that come in in the morning at nine o'clock or ten past nine in, in London, um, they have to do half an hour of sketching as a mandatory uh, warm up, get into the zone type deal. And um, I do that too, but I've decided that I stream my 30 minutes of uh, warm up. The other artists at the studio don't, uh, but nevertheless, I do. And the basic setup is uh, I ask for a, a topic or a suggestion and I roll the dice and I'll draw for half an hour or whatever the, the chosen topic is. And it varies from line art to painting to uh, maybe we, it, sometimes I go into theory or I talk about basics and, uh, or rant about the topic. Um, and every Monday there is something uh, I call Study Monday, which is a given reference once a, once a week that you can type ref and you get the reference. And underneath the stream window, there is a, a Firestarter forums, which this stream is associated with. And it's a community magazine that also has a forum. And at the forum, I post the stream every day uh, with uh, whatever links and, and, and YouTube. It also goes up on a YouTube archive. So you can always access the talk. The rant, the usually it's useful rant, <laughs> useful with the information or or or, or uh, theory or whatever. Sometimes it's just um, brain farts. Who knows, right? But it's nevertheless fun to go back to and listen to. And it usually we talk about some interesting things. Uh, I try to participate with the chat quite a lot. So it's always interesting. And uh, the nice thing is, is it's, it's the same time every day. So it's like over the, this is the fourth season I'm doing um, this stream, which means it's the fourth year, I reckon. And it's the same time every day. So it's become this routine where a lot of you come uh, and we have coffee in the morning and we talk and we, we draw something and there's a Discord associated with this stream as well where we are just under 800 people. <laughs> Brain farts, yeah. And, um, and also um, I run a yearly competition called Unreal Bjornament thanks to um, one Amir Levy here in the chat named it so beautifully um all credit goes to one Amir levy <laughs> and um it's a knockout style art competition where you go head to head against another artist uh, this year we were 102 artists to start with and we are now in the finale which is being currently judged on by a panel of seven judges um, judges are Christian Chihaya, which is the um, uh, Ubisoft art director, Ubisoft, I think, Romania art director. Rolf Moore, which is a concept art veteran. He's worked on movies, uh, games, um, Star Wars, Blade Runner. Big, big name guy, right? And then we have Pablo Caprio, who is a movie con concept artist who does a lot of stuff for movies. Um, you got me, ho -ho. Uh, <laughs> concept artist, veteran, um, Tasty Brush, which was last year's winner, and Laurel, Laurel, Laurel Austin. Uh, senior uh, Blizzard illustrator, powerhouse, uh, monster painter. She is so good, it's ridiculous. Um, so the knockout art competition is that you, you go up against, you get paired up, and and the winner continues, but every, oh, every round, yeah. uh, the feedback, uh, the judges give feedback, pointers, and they they justify their pick 
and uh, why someone else didn't run so it's a little or win so it's a little bit of a, like a learning process as well at the same time to to improve and then um, there's prizes in the end and we're currently on friday it's the big reveal of who's the winner this year and uh, each each of these competitions are uh, five around five months long Hey, Miss Mosa, thank you very much. Oh, you got that number eight. Oh, the powerful, the magic, the delicious number eight. Not the powerful number nine, though, but you, you'll get there. Hey, Quo, how's it going? Hey, Ricky, Ricky, how's it going? That's a week in the forest is good for you. Uh, Cheers from the um, on the morning stream. This time on Friday. So on on Friday I will be um, announcing the winner. Hopefully the judges are unanimous in who is the winner, so I don't need to roll a dice or something. Oh, you should definitely join, children. We miss you. Join us! Children is too busy for us. Shame. He was ev he was a regular children, but uh, I don't know. He became too good for us, I think. Just walk away. Doesn't love me anymore. When Mang, if I was surprised by everyone, anyone that's in the final. Um, I would say a little bit. Yeah, I was happily, happily surprised. I would say I'm. Um, I was happy that Permia made it to to the finale this year. She was in there uh, last year as well, but um, didn't make it. Was she not last year? I think she was last year. Maybe not. Anyways, she's one of the community members. She was in the finale, but unfortunately, she has some some personal problems she needs to deal with, so she couldn't um, didn't have time to or energy to deal with the competition. She had bigger fish to fry, which is a shame uh, for the competition, but uh, it's just a fun fun competition with prizes. Uh, it's not the end of the world if you, you know you have to withdraw. Shame, shame when it turns on the competition only. But life goes on, you know. Um, other than the who's who's in the finale, I I kind of knew that they would be in the finale. There was one one fight with Snivels and Mayo on on round three, I think it was the black society topic that was amazing and i would have wanted both to have gone through there were two really amazing illustrations um, and it was a, sh a, a there's a negative surprise in that turn that it, that mayo wasn't is mayo in no mayo lost snivels won snivels are is in the finale and mayo didn't win the comeback bracket or withdraw withdrew not sure but um, the the coolest thing I would say and if you if you take a look back at all the rounds 
is that there was a huge amount of surprises and it was so like there were there were a few upsets and like people you would think would absolutely win got knocked out by someone making a great uh, interpretation of the topic and a great image that just bested the um, betting favorite you know so that's that's the one thing i love about this this style of art competitions when you go head to head against another artist and then the winner continues is is that you really need to up your game you really need to to give it your best in the interpretation of the topic and in return um you know, the, the battle becomes a little bit different instead of saying, oh, there's 1,000 1, uh, participants and one will win. And then it's like, I don't know, I don't care. You know, the odds of winning becomes really weird and it becomes r so abstract, you know. But when you're up against another artist and you're compared against that artist's work, the... the um, Uh, the level is raised, you know, where you really have to push the, the skill set further because there's no hiding, you know. When man, well, well, yeah, that, that, that's the interesting thing. Like I said, you, you really don't know who's there and it's a little bit of, you know, it's it's a cool thing that you are, everyone has a, um, what, what's that saying, um, a puncher's chance, is that the saying? Like anything can happen, like you can, you can get a lucky, lucky hit and win, right? And uh, maybe also there's compliant, complacency, complacency in a, a more skilled artist that think, oh, I'm up, up against a little bit of a weaker, I don't need to push that hard because you could see it when they were paired up against someone that's significantly stronger than the the average you could see that they had to put effort in right because it didn't want to lose and you could see it happen to someone who thought they were uh, you know an easy win because oh they are not that good but the the lesser skilled artist really put effort in and and beat the theoretically theoretically better artist which which I always love when that happens it's like yeah there there we go like will comes a, a long way you know will and determination hey morphia how's it going when man uh, if you go to the forums, uh, if you scroll down in the forums, there is um, the Unreal Bjornament section. I can help you. I can point you to the right direction. Firestarter. Forum Firestarter. Here, you see, this is the forum. It's connected with a community magazine, um, which writes about all sorts of things. I highly recommend it. Uh, but if you scroll down, here is the warm-up archive where all the daily streams, bazillion of pages. And then down here is Unreal Bjornament. And here you can find all the rounds, the results, uh, work in progress files. Everyone had to post whips just so that you can see their thought process and, and approach and, and so on. It's really cool. Uh, if you have time, I strongly recommend you take a look. Oh, you're already there looking. Yeah, some amazing entries. And uh, definitely, when man, yeah, Snivels, Snivels did some amazing have done some amazing art uh, to get where to to get to the finale. It's definitely one of those who's 
who who maintained maintained their their um, the challenge and skill and didn't succumb to those things I talked about like complacency or uh, ego you know Snivel's been fighting hard and it shows and uh, there's some really great results from Snivel's um, I must say also some who, who was really impressed with this year was Deerbard um, the entry where where in the uh, comeback bracket was his weakest after he lost. So I, I guess they lost the juice a little bit. But there were some really cool entries with Deerbard and he got, a f got quite far but lost in the end against uh, a quite, I, th I think, a skilled artist. Um, another shame that another artist didn't make it was Kuru. Kuru did also some really good uh, entries but Kuru decided that he didn't want to be a part of the competition for whatever reason uh, but yeah so he withdrew he forfeited he did a no-show hey the dark cloak Spearden and you are stalking me Nice. Hello. Hello, stranger. Mm? <laughs> oh, did I drop my gown? Teehee. <laughs> you know, like leaning in the window and like looking over the shoulder like, oh, I pretend that I don't see that you're there. Pressed, like face pressed against the windows, you and Spirit on. Yeah, Kuru, I loved his uh, entries. I think he's really found his style. Um, but uh, it's not... Um, I think... I think... I, I think, personally, he put a lot of time into them. And maybe he didn't have that much time to spare. Because his style looks like there's a lot of work with gradients and, uh, and uh, color transitions. And, um, and and detailing and maybe it was just too much maybe he had uni work or paid work or whatever whatever reason it is why he dropped out but I was happy that he was a part of it and I think the the work that he, he did do was really cool especially the I think the Black Fox Society one um, it was really cool I really like that one with a, there is like monk, monks of sorts going into a swamp from the scene from the side. It's really cool. Hey, the dark cloak. Well, nice. For those who don't know, Spiridon is the. Um, creator of Firestarter, I guess. And um, Dark Cloak is community manager, I, I suppose. Morphia, yeah, th that part I absolutely loved. I think that's the coolest part. Like, you get a, a topic, you gotta sort it out, you gotta deal with it, and you gotta... Um, uh, find a solution to your challenge, right? But at the same time, um, your opponent is doing the same. And then it comes down to who's doing it the best, right? And I, I love that fact. And if I wasn't the organizer, I would definitely be a part of it. Because I really love that type of challenges. And, and it's so... And it's so... Um, I guess you could say triggering, but not in the um, political outcry style, but uh, triggering for my imagination and skill set and um, the, the sense of, of wanting to improve and to escalate uh, my knowledge.
like for me in that sense that it's extremely triggering in the sense that I want to be like I want to be a part of it that's why I I I I join in in art competitions all the time because I really like the idea of of going head to head against someone or having to up my game uh, so much uh, and I can't just that I, I can't just sit and draw in my spare time, that it's, it's um, you know, it's for a purpose. And, and it's in public even more so, which means it's, you got to be accountable for your ideas and, and actions and work ethic and so on. It becomes a completely different game when you, you participate in a competition. It's like exam work in a university. You can't, you can't just kind of half gas it. You gotta, you gotta go full force, you know, because you're gonna be judged. You're gonna be weighed, <laughs> and then you gotta make sure that whatever you do has the right caliber. And for me, naturally, that become you, you, you put that extra effort in, in everything. And you wouldn't do that unless you. Um, join something like that and uh, I know personally uh, a lot of people who's been in the Unreal Bjornament that they've created portfolio pieces that they have currently in their portfolio Morphia yeah exactly and I, I think that's a, a really cool thing that it's it a great idea can win over a technically brilliant artist with a bad idea. I think that's one of the really cool things about um, Unreal Bjornament, but a knockout art competition that way is that it's like may the best artist win in this instance. You know, you everyone can have a bad day. Just don't hope that you don't have it in round one or round two or you know and. So in that instance, it's it's really cool. Uh, a really good artist can lose against a bad one, or less good, rather, not a bad one. That sounds really negative. There was a few upsets, at least last year, and I think this year as well. I just can't pinpoint um, who at the moment. Hi Sisa. Well, that's cool. That's great. <laughs> Zeli, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, Adam Hawk is having a competition like Neo, no, Steam, not Steampunk, but something like. Air punk or something? Gas punk? I don't remember. Something strange topic like that. Hey Fight Milk, how's it going? Welcome. Fight Mi Milk being one of the one uh, competitor. Did some really cool entries actually. Time's running out, and I need. I want to put some colors on here, so I'm stressing. Ah, I will add some colors in a second. Oh, that doesn't look good, but I don't have a choice. Damn it! That was a bad brush mark. Come on, go away! Don't you freeze, Photoshop? You crashed. <sighs> do, 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 do. Photoshop, I hate you. One second, I will need to switch off the display while I kill my Photoshop. Damn you, Photoshop.
<laughs> oh look, recovery worked, but at what point? It is what it is. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, cool. What? Okay. Color balance. Select that. And like this, and then let's put some warm tone in the shadows. That's nice. And then let's do a color dodge for the lava. And let's see if it ends up looking OK. Yeah, that's going to work. All right, cool. I'm going to run a little bit over because I'm going to cheat because Photoshop crashed. And I want to get something done. Because magma man, so so for all you new people that joined in from the raid, I hope you liked the stream. Um, that you you clicked follow, that you will join me tomorrow. This is the exact same time. Every day I do a stream for only 30 minutes. Then you can go about your business. But I do like our little 30 minute coffee break. And um, on Friday especially, I hope you join in because the winners of the art competition will be announced and there will be prizes and there will be salutations there will be high fives so i hope you come in and celebrate with us the winners the hard working winners there will be a one two and three third place with with uh, Prizes for all th three positions. I think that will be cool. Anyways, this is it. When man, yeah, a lot of Photoshop issues. This is so annoying. Everlasting glory and bragging rights. Absolutely. Hey, Fernandez. Well, thank you very much. I would say thank you kindly. I, <laughs> this entry though isn't. I would. It, it has some interesting aspects to it. I never seen a magma monster before. It has a um, potential. I don't like what it ended up looking like. It's a little bit all over the place, but nevertheless, a nice warm up for a thirty minute drawing. And, and as per usual, I'm going to do an outro, and after the outro, I'm going to go to a raid. So let's pass the love on to another streamer and uh, help connect the community, right? So let's find someone that we can raid. And if you have any suggestions on persons to raid, now is the time to shout out. But uh, I really don't have anyone on my list. So are we going? Are we going deep into the pits of art category, where tits and ass grow on trees? Um, she's pretty cool. I know. I know her. Gas mask man? No. Just 
just slim pickings. Oh, body paint. Titanus <laughs> and manga. That looks pretty cool. Oh, he's doing um, 3D of um, um, Art Station Challenge. That's pretty cool. Or she is. Let's rate her. Hey, church sales. Uh, you are extremely late. The stream is ending. I, I am about to raid Lithray. I think it's a girl. Who... Does art station challenge. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, as per usual, I'm going to do the outro, and after the outro, I'll take us to the raid. So, hang tight, don't go anywhere. Thanks everyone for coming. Have a fantastic day. Good night if you're that part of the world. And I do hope that you join me tomorrow morning for another warm up where you will suggest the topic. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.